Hello everyone out there in internet radio land. It's me, Darth Bobcat, returning for another comic review. This is a heck of a step down from uh, up from Iron Sights. Let me run through a couple of things real quick here. This is one of those impulse purchases I make when I'm at a shop. Uh, I was getting a short box to, because I'm getting back into comic book collecting and figured I needed a place to store them. And while the guy was assembling the box for me, by the way, um, sidebar, never buy co comic book boxes online. Like I got mine for five dollars, and he and everywhere online was like fifteen bucks. Go support your local comic book shop, seriously. Anyway, back on track. I, I look up on the shelf and I see um, the, this Simpsons comics. First off, number two hundred forty-three. They've been publishing these for 20 years, assuming they had no breaks in there. Dang, that, that, make, that, that doesn't make you feel old, old nothing will. Anyhow, um, so I look up there as I'm just waiting for him to assemble the box, and I see uh, Mr. Scorpio here. As far as I know, he never came back, which, you know, if he came back, it was in a season I don't want to th think about. Then you have Mr. Burns, and I think to myself, oh, it's going to be Mr. Burns versus Scorpio being frenemies because they both have bombs behind their backs with Homer in blissfully in the middle. I said, that that sounds like a good comic. That wasn't what it was about, but I don't entirely regret my purchase either. Now let's talk about some of the aesthetics here. The art is basically what you expect. In fact, I, I kind of remember Simpsons comic books from when I was a kid and a little bit older than that looking pretty much exactly like this. If I found out that the same guy had been drawing these comic books since the 1990s, I would not be shocked because they've done a good job of aping the style of the show. Which is, you know, all you'd really want. Also, um, I refuse... I'm sorry, Simpsons comics. I refuse to download your app just to get a... You have the right to remain mildly amused. Ugh, I can't even. I can't even fault them for that, or, or I can't even see it as that being ironic about it, because that's mild amusement is actually the best way to describe the exper experience of the Simpsons comic. There was a mild twist. It was nice to see Scorpio again. It was kind of nice to see the Simpsons more or less acting like the Simpsons which is more than a lot of newer episodes go into. Uh, the plot turns out to not be about Burns versus uh, Scorpio. It, it actually, there's a minor subplot where they do that for about two pages and they do a callback later. It's just basically Scorpio trying to take over the world under the table. Um, a lot of the jokes do land. I would say it has about a 60% hit rate on giving me a mild smile. Nothing made me laugh, but, I mean, it's The Simpsons in 2018. A bunch of mild smiles is about as good as you can really expect. Like, this one joke here at the end, they accidentally shoot a laser into space. It gives everyone in Athens, Greece, laser vision, surgery. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Is that funny? I, I, I'm asking legitimately. I, I don't know if that's actually funny. I, I know it's not funny, but it's... It's one of those things where somebody, you know, Ian Boothby proposed it, and Nathan Cain endorsed it. So two people thought that that was funny, and an artist went along with it. That I, I don't know. Anyway, mild amusement. That that is the experience you get here. I feel mildly lied to because. This is not what the comic was about. I was kind of expecting a war of the evil super geniuses. But I eh, don't entirely regret my purchase. And yeah, well, thanks for checking in. And you have yourselves a great night. Bye.